What's up guys, Erica here from High 49 rc Last couple weeks I have been scrounging Fleabay for some good deals on brushed motors, well vintage brushed motors, um, and I found some really really awesome deals that I snagged up really fast. Now I know a lot of you guys probably are not very excited about vintage brushed modified motors, but you know what, get excited because that's what we're talking about today. And there is the whole shebang that I managed to score. So, I'm going to go through all this stuff and what exactly it is, and then I'll give you guys a close-up of each motor individually. So, let's go through the small stuff first here. We've got a end bell. So, all these parts here in front I managed to get as, like, a bundle. Um, got an end bell here in case I need one. It actually has brand new brushes in it, which is really nice, because this motor needs new brushes. So, I'll be swapping those over to here. Got a timing ring, got some purple heat sinks, which these I'm going to be putting on my MOA motors, depending on what those end up being. Um, these are going to go on there and give a little bling. Same kind of deal here, but just black. And then tons of brush hoods, which is going to be great because as I collect these motors, which is what I'm going to be doing, um, I think they look cool. I'm not really going to be using them a ton. I would like to do some cool comparison videos with them in my touring car, doing different sorts of speed runs and more kind of like data analysis stuff with them. I think that could be kind of cool. Um, and as I get new motors and stuff, I want to make sure that they look nice for display because that's what I want to do with them and why I'm purchasing them, really. I also managed to pick up a sealed in packaged epoxy balanced Trinity D2 14 turn double armature. I plan on getting a D2 motor at some point, so I figured I would get this because this came from the same seller as the rest of the miscellaneous parts, so I figured, you know what, I'll pick it up anyways, and it was a pretty good deal. These three motors are Trinity Speed Gems 2, and this is an original Speed Gems motor by Trinity also. This is a Topaz, it's an 11 turn triple, this is a Jade 15 turn quad, and a Platinum 13 turn triple. Now. I don't remember what the triple and quad and double and all that means. And, oh, and this is a quartz, it's a 19 turn double. Don't remember what that stuff means, but from what I recall reading, basically if it's a quad, that motor is going to run at a higher RPM than, say, a double. From what I gather. Uh, I think there's some other things about it too, I'm just not sure I need to learn some more about it. With that, let's get you guys in for some close-ups of these motors so you guys can get a real good idea of the condition and how they're looking. First up, we've got the Topaz. Like I said before, it's an 11 turn triple. It's in really good condition. The sticker is really not torn up or damaged much at all as you can see. The end bell is also in really good condition. No heavy scrapes or scratching. Um, which is a good indicator that a motor has been run really heavily. So if you're looking for these, you'll notice on the back side here primarily, either here or over here, will be really, really heavy scraping if it's been raced heavily because these were mainly raced in RC10s and those had transmissions where they hung out the back and would scrape along the ground if you landed too hard. So basically this portion of the end bell would get extremely mangled and really damaged and just kind of gross in general. So in terms of brushes, commutator, and end bell components, I've not really been able to take a super good look at the comm yet. Um, it's probably not too bad, seeing as the rest of the motor appears to be in really good condition. The brushes look, they don't, they look somewhat worn out. They will probably need to be replaced. They don't look super fresh or anything. Um, and just in general, the end bell's in really good condition, and the brush hoods and such are not really all mucked up. These brushes actually have shunts that have eyelets in them, so they're actually screwed in to the end bell as opposed to soldered. Because a lot of them were soldered, um, the other ones behind me are, were soldered as well. But these ones aren't, which is nice, and I really appreciate that because it makes the whole thing just look a lot cleaner as well also have the caps. These reduce radio interference. Um, what would what you would do is you'd put basically one cap between uh, positive and negative, one cap between negative and ground or the can, and one cap between positive and the can, more or less. And that would help reduce radio interference back in the day. I don't think it's much of an issue anymore, but they would do this because there weren't surface mount caps 
on the motors. Nowadays, if you look at uh, pretty much any brushed motor, you'll see a little tiny, tiny PCB screwed right here where the timing adjusting screw is and there'll be like two little surface mount caps, two or three, and that's basically doing the exact same thing as what the ceramic caps would be doing. Next up we've got the Jade, it's a 15 turn quad. Again, stickers in pretty good condition. Some wrinkling up here and some other scratches, just small dings, really not big stuff or anything, which is good. Um, looks pretty clean, the paint's not super chipped off or worn out or anything, end bell is also pretty good. The brushes uh, actually look to be in really good condition, I can see that there's still quite a bit of brush left on this one, which is really good. The brush hoods are a little bit gunked up, and this portion of the end bell here is also a little bit gunked up, but it's not too big of a deal. Um, these ones also, this motor also has um, brush shunts that have the eyelet on them, which is really nice. Makes the whole look of the motor and the end bell just a lot cleaner in general. And I appreciate that, because I will be displaying these. Moving on to the Platinum, the 13 turn triple. This one is definitely a little bit worse for wear. Lots of scuffing on the sticker there. Um, definitely scratches elsewhere on the can. Actually, it's not too bad, but uh, the end bell is really the worst part of this motor. So, you know, it looks like someone tried to grind off the leads here. Um, the caps have just been clipped off. The brushes are almost all the way worn out. The brushes have solder on shunts, so that makes them kind of ugly, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. You know, I'm not you know, I'm not putting anything out there like that. That's just my opinion. This wire is like not even silicone wire. It's um it almost feels like house wiring. Just kind of funny. But otherwise, this one's not too bad. I suspect that the com on this one is actually going to be quite dirty and it's going to need quite a lot of turning. Um you know what? I can see the side profile of the com and it is really bad. It is really bad. I don't know if you can see, but right in there, it almost looks like a little mushroom. That's not good. That is terrible. Oh man. This, this is going to need some serious TLC, and I plan on doing a video rebuilding this motor specifically. Another cool thing is it actually has these super old style connectors on, them, on it, which is kind of cool. I'm definitely going to save these. I don't know if they're crimped in? Oh yeah, maybe I guess they're crimped in, so maybe this is actually like stock wiring. Last but not least, we have the original Speed Gems quartz motor. This is a 19 turn double and it's the touring car special, which we all know I have a touring car, so this is actually a motor that I am planning on seriously running, like actually running this motor um, quite a lot. It's in really good condition, it actually does not look like it has been used at all. A um, little bit of like kind of dirt and rust on here from probably just storage over the years. It was probably sitting in a box somewhere or in someone's motor case and just, you know, never got used. But this thing is literally brand new. I think. It may have been cleaned up really nice, but there's no solder on the lead attachment points. There's no solder on the tabs here for the caps. It has uh, eyelet shunts, which is really nice, and the brushes are brand new. I'm not sure how well you can see, but right in there, the brush comes all the way out to here, which is really good. So this is definitely going to be a motor that I run and do some comparisons with. Um, the NML is in super good condition, obviously, because it's not been run at all. Well. It might have been run and might just be taken care of really well. Uh, I can also see the comm in there and it is shiny as can be. There you go. You can see right through that slit there. Nice and shiny, which is fantastic. I plan to do a full rebuild with this guy because it's in not very good condition. Um, this one may actually be the motor that gets this D2 armature just because I have it for temporary because the comm looked really, really bad from what I could see. I, uh, you know, it's hard to tell without actually tearing it down fully, which we'll do in another video. 
I may do short just opening them up, showing you the insides, you know, one or two minute little shorts kind of things. Um, in the future, if I just need a piece of content, I'll tear one of these guys open, show you guys what they look like. I enjoy the nitty gritty, the inspecting, you know, making sure everything is just so and aligned perfectly, you know, I've got all the tools for it and I've got that whole motor case which I'll put in a card up here. You guys can go check that out, super cool motor case. Guys, thank you so much for watching, I have had a blast filming this, I love these motors, they're super cool. If you guys enjoy these kinds of things just as much as I do, make sure you comment down below, let me know, be sure you hit that like button, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, support me on Patreon, join the Discord server because, you know, we're always talking about cool stuff on the Discord server, actually. I really, really want you guys to go join because it's a great way for me to connect with you guys. And also, we get to share ideas, we get to share what we're working on, and, like, even stuff with, like, 3D printing, we've got a spot for full-size rigs, you know, whatever you're into, there's a spot to talk about it on my Discord server, so make sure you go check that out. Links are in the description. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all in the next one.